Welcome friends to the second part of my trip to New Zealand. first part I shared how I uh, flew from Florida to New Zealand friends today is the January 1st of 2020 oh, yes a very first day of the new year and I am flying to Nelson from Wellington it is just a uh, 45 minutes of flight so the plane is small and fly not too high so great to experience the scenic views of Wellington and Nelson. Nelson is a city on the South Island of New Zealand facing Tasman Bay. It's known for local arts and craft stores and art galleries. It's also a popular base for nearby caving sites, vineyards and Abel Tasman National Park. Abel Tasman is where we are going to start our journey from. New Zealand's geography includes glaciers, fjords, mountains, plains, subtropical forest, volcanic plateau, and miles of coastline. Colors ranging from deep brown to stark white give New Zealand's South Island its intense beauty. Alright friends, so we have reached Nelson. The airport car rental van is dropping us at the car rental place where we can rent the car from. Little nervous to drive as the driving in New Zealand is opposite to the US. But when it comes to driving, I totally trust my husband, Janak. I read in one of the New Zealand book that there is only one route which connects one town to another. So land getting and driving in New Zealand is not that difficult and as you can see there also aren't that many cars on the road so you can drive at your own comfortable speed. Beautiful. Feels like stopping almost everywhere. It's like this as you can see some plants we are not able to figure out uh, what kind of plants are this. Seems like road trip in New Zealand is going to be a lot of fun. Right now friends we are heading to the airplane. Going to the cottage. Finally, we are at our cottage. The house rental we booked online. Our very first experience with Airbnb. So let's see how it goes. Well, nice. So well, there's some fruits also. Is it a lemon? And some candies. Alright, so today I am in the cottage house in Montuka. And here is what you can expect in an Airbnb um, house use apartment, whatever you want to call. So some basics like uh, here they have the, the granola, pasta sauce, pasta, um, strawberry jam, paper towels, 
um, salt, flour, breadcrumbs, wasabi powder, um, stevia sweetener, baking powder, uh, couscous, there are some other baking sodas, uh, random stuff back there, hot curry powder, sounds like something to try, um, easy cook oats, and uh, down here, uh, spices and sauce and oil, olive oil, soy sauce, um, black pepper, salt, mustard, and then uh, microwave, all the uh, glasses, cups, um, toaster, keto, and all the pots and pans. Am I talking in a New Zealand accent now? <laughs> uh, cutleries, um, plates. So pretty much everything that you want in your, um, you know, kitchen for the like, uh, like very much basic stuff. Um, sandwich bags, you know. Tomorrow I will need them. So make the sandwich pack and take on your hike. And here all the cleaning supplies, the stove, dishwasher, they have a dishwasher even, oh one if you feel like making something. And um, where I went to grocery store and got a few stuff, bread, croissant rolls, the beans, you know the baked beans and chili beans, um, I also got a few other stuff. Um, right into the refrigerator so I got that drink for tomorrow um, tortillas, grapes, ginger beer, milk there's already milk in the fridge as well uh, some cheese, I got the cheese and uh, so I can make something for the dinner and for lunch tomorrow uh, to carry uh, for the hike so and let's go to the one of the room this is small room actually everything is made from the natural wood as you can see fire in the corner and is the window open <laughs> so this is the kitchen this is how it looks like um let's go to the that's the bathroom laundry walking shower there And then here is another room. Um, I'm just trying to unpack here. So, and this is the living room. Nice. And if you feel like having breakfast outside, they have the table and the chair outside. Barbecue even. So, the, pretty much everything. The whole time book business, so in off season, this is uh, their office. Oh, this is in off season, okay. Wow, look at the books, how many books they have. There's one for New Zealand. I think this is the one I read from our library. In the, in the room. Okay. okay. Alright, so pretty much that was the tour of the Airbnb in New Zealand. Uh, oh, there's outside also, if you want to see. This is where we came from, actually. I, I shoot earlier a little bit, so... Look at the cows. Um, all the cows over there. When, they, when we came, they were just facing us, looking. We are the new people came in here. It's quite nice, beautiful. The weather is beautiful as well. You know, so it's kind of a different, something different. I love it. We are going to stay here for the next three days. Oh, what kind of food is this, Akash? See that? Is it a free or what? That looks like a free. It looks like an apple. So many apples. Alright, so that's a tour of the area. And these guys here are trying to figure out how to use drone. 
beautiful evening so we decided to relax at the nearby river look at the sun it's seven o'clock in the evening beautiful river I feel so relaxed with the healing and calming sound of gentle river stream. Our rental cottage is right on that side of the river. Pista. Wow. Next day, in the very early morning, we got ready to oh visit Abel Tasman National Park. Wow. And these are, if you look closely, they are shells. We are going to be going this boat up here. The Abel Tasman National Park is an easily accessible coastal paradise. You can choose to explore the park from the land, on the water, or in the air. The park is a wilderness reserve at the north end of New Zealand's South Island. It's known for the Abel Tasman Coast Track. See that bird? I'm really missing my elder son Drew who didn't join us on this trip. Friends, enjoy the scenic view through the cruise with me for the next few minutes. Don't mind us, Oh wow, look at that split rock. One thing I heard about uh, New Zealand is that the weather is very unpredictable. So be ready for any kind of a drastic change in weather. The best practice is to layer the clothing. hike starts from and can you guess which track are we going on on this board have a look at the very last one Anchorage Bay which is 11.8 kilometers yes we are going on that one according to Wilson's the trail between Midlands Beach and Anchorage is the most varied of the coast track with Torrent Bay being the highlight for most of the time we are going to hike through Tempoit Rainforest. Friends, this is not an ordinary track, but this is a world famous coast track. The water flows like this. 
the water flows like this and gets down like this. This is like a rainforest near the ocean. You can hear the ocean. To me personally, hiking is a great way to embrace nature. Today actually I have layered myself for a couple of things. Inside I'm wearing my uh, swimming costume, then uh, the alligator up here, watch another out. layer of uh, warm clothing so I can take out when I am feeling hot because during hiking it's, you know, it can get very hot. Oh, what do you have up here? Oh, that's a nice bitch. That is the TV. Right there. This is the next one. Bobo. Bobo. Avon Tasman National Park is renowned for its golden beaches, sculpture granite cliffs, and its world famous coast track as I said earlier. It's world famous for its coastal walking track and has many golden sandy beaches. Avon Tasman is well worth a visit. I would advise visiting Kateri Terry Beach on the way before going over the Takaka Hill. I hope I'm pronouncing some of the name properly. Finally, after about two hours of walk, we reached to one of the beach area where we just sort of relaxing a little bit but there were a lot of bugs but we really had a lot of fun learning how to get on a tree swing akash and i had a really hard time getting on to the swing ready one two three go Bye bye. We could have crossed over from here if it was a low tide, but now we have to take this route, which is one and a half hour. It's a picnic time.
I prepared some sandwich rolls with the jam and some with the cheese and some condiments, pickles. After four hours of walk, who can resist a nap? After the hiking is done, the boat again brings back to Kateri Tare Beach. Zigzag road. Oh. I am driving. Keep left. My <laughs> guys. It was like what about 12 kilometers of walk so far? It's 4.15 now, so what's next? We have come this far, so let's um, visit Arkway. As I said earlier, the weather is very unpredictable here. As you can see now, it has become very windy, cloudy. But we can't afford to miss our way. Look at this, how beautiful it looks. So we decided to visit our way. It's a two hours of driving from Kateri Terry Beach to Waharaki Beach. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. The Arkwe Islands are just off Waharaki Beach at the top of the west coast, but still within the Golden Bay area, it says online. It's getting dark very quickly. Driving on a sand road. It's like a wild ride. We are in the middle of nowhere. Kind of scary. From the car park, it says 20 minutes walk to the beach. No matter how the bad the weather is, Bow is going. Bow, look here. Beach and weather cannot stop us. Right? <laughs> We're causing the electric fence. Climb a small hill, cross a stile, and follow the sandy track through a couple of. Uh, paddocks and a small section of coastal forest. Who is Akash? Once at the top, an amazing view opens up. Come on guys! As we near the beach, the sand track widens and Ahead of us, we can see the huge sand dunes. The path skirts around the edge of a tenant stain stream and heads up the back side of the dunes where it becomes a hard slope walking in the deep and soft sand. It's still hard work crossing the sand, so we stick to the ridge where it's a little firmer 
as we move further along the island becomes two and finally we see two arcs in the first island and unfortunately the weather is such that uh, it looks way different than we expected it it feels like we are on a mars bow is walking by herself it takes actually more than 20 minutes walking on the sand is really hard so it uh, took us about an hour for us to get here the islands are not as clear as i would like but uh, trust me this is a totally different experience By the time we reach here, we are the only people here, just the three of us. Feeling scary now. Feels like we are in Iceland one more time. We are in Iceland. It was an amazing day today, almost 15 kilometers of walk today. Okay. Driving back to the cottage. By the time we reached the cottage, it would be around 11 o'clock, but I still feel like I want to cook something and eat today. So let's see. Driving at night. We made Darbat today, 11 o'clock at night. Friends, don't forget to watch my other episodes. South Island, New Zealand road trip. And trust me, the best has to come yet. Queenstown, Mount Cook, beautiful places. Thanks for watching and see you soon.